What's up boys and girls? Welcome back to Expression Culture. You join me, Gareth the Honda Guru. Today we're going to be working on the Civic, the old FK1 Sport. FK1 being a 1.4. So, if you've seen this car in previous videos of mine, I have also done a review on it, so go and check that out. I'll link that in the description. We've got the front Maxim Design uh, skirt on this one. And now we have the side skirts and the rear skirts down there. So today I'm going to fit those to our little holly. That's what my wife likes to call her. Let's get on with it. So here's a closer look at what we've got. These are gloss black, which is an additional charge. So the side skirts, obviously, quite clearly. They're the rear skirts or rear spats, whatever you want to call them. First things first is to get them out of the packaging. Uh, I don't ever use the hardware supplied on these because half the time then you've got to remove the bumper and stuff like that. It, in my opinion, it's unnecessary. Um, what I do is I pre-trill the holes for the hardware I use, which are actually roofing screws um, and washers. So they have a, a water resistance um, seal and washer on them and they're self-tapping. Um, and what I'm going to do on this one is because it doesn't actually have any side skirts I don't particularly want to drill into the metal body so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tiger seal that on and hopefully, I'm not too sure but I'm going to check it and I'm going to try and put maybe one screw in here but I don't think it's going to work personally so it might be just tiger seal obviously the rears will be piece of piss because that's all pl plastic and drill straight into that. Yeah, so that's like I said, that's what I do. I pre-drill, I then um, stick them on with double-sided tape so I, so I can get where I want them to be. And then I use the hardware that I've just described to secure them in place. What I do is I'll just make a few holes in the item. Nice and simple, use a little step bit. Onto the second. Nice and easy. Um, that would be quite thin there. I don't want to do it there. Obviously, plan where you do this properly. I'll just go on the other end side just to clear about. So obviously it looks a bit dull at the moment because it's got a protective film on it. But so you don't have to worry about taking these stickers off obviously because that'll come off with the protective film. Don't drill through your hand, it was helpful. Like that. Nice and simple. Or you just make sure that's actually going to cut into something when you do it. Yeah, that we should be alright. If not, I'll have to drill some more. But now, you want to take off the protective film, so just get the one edge. Obviously inspect, inspect it first, make sure it's um, not damaged or anything, because once you peel, apparently once you peel this protective layer off, you can't return it. And as you can see, flawless victory. Now, obviously, this is what I do. By the way, I'm not telling you this is the way you have to do it. This is just the way I do it. And I've been fitting Maxton Design skirts, spoilers, for years. So I just put a bit of double-sided tape, obviously not in a way where it's going to be visible. 
So obviously I know this bit's going to be under the car. And this is purely just to hold it in place whilst I put my fixings in. Little top tip from me. And obviously this tape I get from my work, Parts Plus, but any double-sided, high strength, high tack um, tape shall do fine. Halfers actually, their um, double-sided tape is very good. And I've even held plugs to walls for years. So these are the hardware I use. They have a waterproof resistant seal here. Eight mil, Mac tool's gone. It was a handy thing to do. Plan your route. Obviously, you don't need to go too hard with it. It's just plastic. And obviously, these are stainless steel, so they are less likely to rust. Solid as anything. I might put one more just there, just on that corner, in case that creates a rattle in the car, which I highly doubt it will, but I'm going to do it anyway. Stop doing this. Hmm? There we go. That's one side fitted. And I think you'll agree, that looks awesome. Right, I'll do the other side now. Obviously I won't film that. And then we'll get onto the side skirts. Right boys and girls, the rear pieces are on. I'm gonna give you a little look. So there we go. That's the two rear pieces on. Looking very nice. Wife is happy, as you can see. <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely Giving a big improvement on the back side of the car. On to the side skirts now. That's what they look like out of the bag. Obviously, that's still got its protective film on. I'll show you what I've done to the other side. I thought I'd give it a go first just to try it and see what it's gonna how it's gonna fit because the uh, double sided tape isn't as strong as I'd hoped it was gonna be on to bare metal. What I've done, obviously, I did what I normally do. Um, put the double side tape on but it wasn't tacky enough to go to the bare metal so we tiger sealed it and I'll just put some of these jacks to hold it in place um, this bit of skirting here did go all the way under so I managed to put one screw in here so that's nice and strong there um, but sadly at the other end it doesn't go all the way under the body uh, so there isn't anywhere for I can screw into that so hopefully this will be fine. Uh, I'm gonna leave that to cure for a little bit. I don't actually know how long Tiger Seal takes to go off. So yeah, there's a little bit of glue I need to tidy up down there. Um, I don't know whether it's best to get it off now or whether it's to get it off once it's cured. But yeah, what a difference it makes to the car. Jesus, looks awesome. Almost looks like a tire bar. <laughs> Joking. So, that's with it with the protective film off. Nice gloss finish. A couple of holes I've driven there, uh, dr driven, drilled there. Now, the front arch, it as it comes down and goes round, there's a couple of points where I can put it in just to give it a bit of strength. But otherwise, it's you've got to screw it into the seal, which I'm not doing that because it's going to invite rust. So, the first time I tried this, I used the double sided tape and the tiger seal which the double side tape didn't work so i'm just going to tiger seal the shit out of this um and like i did on the other side i'm just going to use the axle not axle stands the temporary tire jack stands to uh hold it up now the other side i've got one just sat on it um for some reason it seems to sag a little bit here so i've just put left that one over it i'm going to leave it there overnight gonna let Emily use the jazz for to go to work tomorrow morning um, I've got a week off Woohoo! so yeah gonna leave that line like that does look epic doesn't it 
Uh, we managed to get the, that uh, little bit of Tiger Seal off that got onto the skirt with a bit of uh, rubbing alcohol. So, yeah, loving it. So I'm just going to go on to the next one now. I'm not going to do the process because my wife's given me a hand uh, and obviously um, I need her to hold this the skirt and not hold the camera. Right, I'll try to you once I've finished this side. Right, boys and girls, it is done. Uh, same process as I did before. Um, obviously without the double side tape, like I said. So I put a couple of fixings in the front where the arch does go underneath it. And then I've put the temporary, I can't what they're called now, jacks are used to change your tire. Let's have a look. Well, there we go. Looks fantastic. Does really set the car off. Um, we need to get the spoiler as the final bit of the Maxton kit. But yeah, I'm chuffed with it. Wife likes it. Just quickly show you the front, uh, seeing as we haven't shown you it in this video. Obviously, like I said, we didn't fit this in the video, but that's the front end with the Maxton lip. So it's now got all of the lower skirts on, front, sides and rear. And like I just said, just the top one to go. Be a similar like the one on the CRZ, just a, a small little lip. Obviously it's fitted and uh, molded to the shape of the spoiler. Awesome. So, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed that. Not the most informal video, I know, because um, they're a bit difficult on the side skirts on these. Most vehicles have a plastic side skirt you can just screw into, so I would normally just fit them the way I do uh, the rear pieces. Uh, but on this case, and on this vehicle, that's not possible, and I wouldn't, I just don't want to screw into the metal seals because you're just going to invite rust in there. No matter how much I seal that up, it still would have invited rust in there. And I don't want to do that, I'm afraid. I'm not an idiot. Funnily enough though, Maxim Design actually do supply you with the size guts on these with uh, self-drilling tape tappers. So they do expect you to put it that way. I'm not, I'm afraid. Anyway, boys and girls, thank you for stopping by, checking out another video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers, it means a lot to me. Please like, share, subscribe. It all helps. Uh, people don't seem to realise how much it really does help. Even just liking the video. Leave a comment. I will always get back to you. I do love to interact with my uh, followers. So, until the next video, have a lovely day or evening. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.